Hey guys, it's Adamus Prime here, coming back with the episode 2 for the 5 star Islam Huerta how to walk through. You guys can follow along with me. Uh, again, I just want to, I don't think I said it in the first video, I was actually just reviewing that a second ago. And, uh, when I say a second ago, yesterday. And I did not say that, you know, there's multiple ways to get this done. This is just something for me to kind of give you an idea about how I'm choosing to do this. Uh, feel free to follow exactly how I go. You can choose different dinosaurs if you want. You know, this is a wonderful creation sandbox style game. You don't have to stick to everything that I'm doing the exact same way. Don't worry about that. So as long as you get the general basis, I'm just trying to help you to where you can unlock some of the additional things that this will give you further on. Oops, sorry, I accidentally pressed the X button there. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, down at the bottom, I earned up about $2 million. I picked up a couple extra contracts. I did, unfortunately, start recording a second ago, just trying to get the Expedition Center empowered up uh, to finish out that contract. Now, contracts help out tremendously. They can give you a little bit of extra money and bump and flow to keep going, and they give you a nice little goal to work towards, like income per minute from guest facilities. That makes me want to build more and everything. Which brings me back to the main purpose that we left off on the last one. We go into our island rating, and we saw that we were at okay capacity, meaning that we needed to build our hotels pretty much as immediately. And the satisfaction, oh, it just went up to okay, but it looks like we need to especially focus more on that. All right, so without further ado, we also need to start producing some more dinosaurs. And what does everybody like? What do the movies tell us? Everything else like that. Everything needs more teeth. More teeth. We need some carnivores in here. Otherwise, you know, you're just going to watch people graze around and maybe throw some popcorn at them, right? That's what you do at the zoo, don't you? <laughs> Alright, so same as usual, I'm going to throw my uh, success threes in there, and I'm going to go ahead and get started on another cheap dinosaur that helps out a lot, and that's because the population is high enough, and you still only need one of them, and it's already highlighted here, the Dilophosaurus. It runs a little expensive, but if you look at that rating compared to the other ones, 101, it usually sets pretty good, and the lifespan is on there really well as well. So let's go ahead and throw this in there. Actually, I'm just going to sit with one for now. Sit with one for now and it should be all right. Uh, somehow we completed that uh, other science contract just by doing nothing, so that's good. All right, let's roll into these hotels. Now, when I'm building the hotels, I like to start mass building them so that way they can, I can just have them out and over with. Or if I can't mass produce them, I kind of just let them sit in an area that... Uh, how do I say this? Not sitting in an area. Yeah, sitting in an area to where they can easily be accessed next to all of our guest attractions, like the restaurants and everything. So that way our management view won't go insanely down while we continue to play throughout the game. Speaking of the management view, let's go ahead and check. Oh, no. We need to go ahead and check out the power situation here real quick. A medium power station is definitely needed right now. Let's see if I can rotate this along. Squeeze this in over here train oh i thought i wasn't gonna be able to it's almost perfect plop that bad boy down and we're out of money imagine that <laughs> unfortunately so but that medium power station should get us up and going for the remainder of this and by the time that's ready and our dilophosaurus is ready to come out we should have another decent amount of money ready to go so you know sometimes just to kind of segue into while we wait for the other stuff to build and everything. Sometimes I wish that these, uh, the scissor lifts would have people on them. Or maybe the cranes were actually lifting things. You know, something other than just a giant white canvas. Just to show scaffolding and then, oh look, here's the end. But you know what? You can only ask for so much. It's, it's really not too bad. Oh, it says it needs another substation, huh? You'd think that that one could reach. Of course not, huh? So let's go ahead and just put one right here instead. Connect through there. We'll go ahead and get rid of this one. And that. So now, if I've done this correctly, it should be able to hold the power there. Correct. Awesome. And now, you know, same thing again, because I don't know if you've done anything construction-wise or anything like that. 
Uh, if you look at all these materials out here, they're all external materials. You know, structural tubes, I-beams, stuff like that. And then you just see it at the end. It's like, boom, here it is. <laughs> it's probably just one of those little things. Probably just me being weird and geeky about it. No big deal. Again, the contract coming in clutch, giving us 130 there. I built it, however, I don't necessarily need it. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate it and save that power. I don't see where our money's sitting at right now. We have, oh, we're sitting under them where we left off last time. Here we go with the Dilophosaurus, ready to come out as well. Again, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys uh, witness it coming out there. Look at the skin, etc., etc. Need some more forest. Good thing I kind of stuck with it to kind of see uh, what all it needs. So um, let's go ahead and just power through some forest then for it. I don't like all that much in the front, so let's. I guess we're gonna have to remove a little bit, huh? All right, there we go. Grassland forest again. It could be a little bit higher, but it'll survive. It'll do exactly what it needs to do. Shelters increase the total coverage of 80%. Wow, that is an extremely easy task, and I'll take it. Again, I cannot stress to you enough. Some of these easy contracts just really... You need to take them. You need to take them quick, so that way you can uh, gather that extra bit of money. Alright, so in order to see where the bunker views are... Right now we're at 68, and we need to get that to 80%. So this one bunker pretty much covers almost everything over here now what i could do is just build one more over here and it'll cover the rest however i know that we're going to branch out and we're going to need more so i'll probably build one more over here Ooh, i don't know if that'll hit me to 80 percent or not we'll have to take a gamble and find out i forget that is yes right here Oh, okay, this is perfect right here. The storm defense station is tracking an incoming tropical storm. Now, I don't know if you remember off of my first video here. It was basically saying that storms in this island are, are just a precursor as to what will actually come and how bad things can actually get. But as soon as you see that notification, you want to go ahead and get everything ready. That's where whenever you see that first symbol up at the top that the storm has actually arrived, go ahead and just pull them into the shelter. There you go, the storm warning. Pull it in. Now, as you can see, it's going to start. It might make a couple of these guys uncomfortable. See, it went from 100 down to 95, and then to 94. You know how it goes. But it's it's not going to break any structures. I don't know if you guys have made it to this this morning or not, if you're just watching this. But it's not going to break any structures, like gates, etc. It will power down a couple of them. But it won't be tremendously terrible. Oh, looks like that one shelter did make us go up to 80%. That was very nice, very lucky. And there you go, you already have the security reward. Looks like everything else is going on. Well, while we're just waiting on this, let's go ahead and power up and get some extra money. Uh, we do need another Edmontosaurus over here. Or, let's see what the price on those are. 650000 Let's see how long we can wait for those. Right now, we're finally... We just doubled our income just by producing that one uh, carnivore. Now, thankfully for us, we don't have to actually pilot it this time. But we can go ahead and come in here and repair one of these things. Oh, and of course, something I completely forgot to do is almost always upgrade your rangers into having the scheduling. The additional scheduling is awesome. Helps out tremendously. And also, while he's going around there, I completely have been neglecting my herbivores. Completely forgot to fill up on their feeders. There we go. And look, and as soon as the storm icon goes away, pop straight back into the game, close the shelter. Or look, they didn't even make it in there in time. They would have been ruined. Ah, but that's perfectly fine. 
<laughs> what is it? Just a couple casualties, right? It's no big deal. Let's see where we're sitting right here. Everything else is sitting pretty high. We need transport and we need some more shopping, maybe, is what it looks like. Also, if you don't want to keep pressing the X button, hotkey going in there, you can check it all out in your management view so that way you can see exactly what's going on. Your visibility could be a little bit more because we're only sitting on 50% right here. Upkeep, profit, restrooms are fine. Needs a little bit more shopping over on this side. And then the transport. All right, let's go sit and see if we can uh, hop in on some of that transport while we're waiting. Hundred and eighty thousand, huh? I think right here is probably the best place. It's got power going into it and everything. Perfect, perfect. Ooh, that's I don't think we're gonna be able to swing around back. Let's see if we can just go right over top of all of this. That's wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and link in our other station right here. I wonder where that power is. Okay. Link it in right there, and then we're going to have it. The thing with the monorails is that you definitely want to link it from wherever your dinosaurs are. A viewing center would be most preferable. So that's where you got the viewing gallery here. And then most of your other shopping needs for your monorail station and then the first one should almost always go right as close as possible to your arrival point because if it's not close to your arrival point it's not going to make any bit of difference for your uh, transportation needs if it's not sitting right there and it looks like I forgot to go ahead and path everything together crash just straight forward also, what I can do to cut down on my transportation needs is to connect another path over here into this area. So that way they don't have to walk all the way around, even though I'm pretty sure in the real world people would just walk through this forest anyway. Power, I need to go ahead and get some power going to there. I'm glad to see that uh, there has been some pretty decent overhauls as far as the terrain restraints, building restraints for this game and overall. It's it's very good to see that. Oh, it's 75% of the Troodon genome. Unfortunately, I have not unlocked that just yet. That's in the DLC later to come. Uh, very much so looking forward to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out our management views, see where we're running with this. Transportation is at 100%, like I said. You just throw that straight from the beginning, coming down to where your dinosaurs are at. And, you know, pretty self-explanatory. I do think that this pathway did help out quite a bit. Let's see, how's our... Let's see, what was Lowe's? Just our shopping, was it not? And now our views back up to 98%. Oh, huh, that's very interesting. I don't know about that. While we're at it, might as well go into guests and see what type of fun shopping stuff we can give them. How about a gift store or a toy shop? Oh, disease contracted. Let's go and do them there. I always like to get in the range of whenever I'm, there's a disease. Let's see, is it going to be the herbivores? I think it might be. Oh, also, you know, there's no such thing as man-made <laughs> road rage here and manslaughter, which is very good. They always end up getting out of your way. All right, here we go. We're gonna hit him with the drift straight to the dark. There right, we go. Oh, oh. Oh, good thing I was already finished. And I didn't need to hit him again, otherwise I would have completely missed. Oh, let's see. Where are we running? All right, and then also, like I said, I know I always, always just do this straight off the bat to help out. And while I'm going ahead and finishing this and selling RC sources at the at the gift stop here, I just want to go ahead and say uh, we're already at about 15 minutes. I know we didn't accomplish very much, but you always super important is to always make sure. 
that your guests' needs are, are met and up to standards. Otherwise, you're just not going to be able to go anywhere else with this. So, if we, again, if we go into Dinosaur Management, you can see that everything else has been bumped right back up. Apparently, we need a little bit more shopping over here by the hotel, but that's fine. We'll fix that later. Everything else is near 100%. All right, uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to go ahead and sit and accumulate a little bit more money, just as everybody knows as you play this game. You just have to wait for the money most of the time, which is a little unfortunate. I wish there was a little bit more to do for that. Hey, uh, <laughs> kind of like what I did in the last one as well. Uh, actually, I have a word for you this time. Uh, if you've made it this far or if you just skip forward to the end, it's kind of cheating. No big deal. But go ahead and just copy, or not copy, comment down below the word mittens. If you get made it this far, go ahead and comment mittens down below. And let's see who, who managed to make it. Alright, thank you all very much for watching. This is episode two, and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.